Hi, everybody. Come on in. We'll give people a little bit of time to start coming in. Where do I put this silly phone? We'll put it over here. Okay. I think I'll... Watch and chat on YouTube. So anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, just scrub forward until you see stuff start happening. We'll start doing some stuff. Hopefully YouTube will get a notification out. Not that I get them, but when they work, they're awesome. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Icy. Hey, Lena. How's everything? Hi, Linda. Anyway, not much new going on here. Lena, have you been streaming? I am not. I don't know what to blame it on. I don't know if I should be blaming YouTube or if I should be blaming um, this new computer. That my notifications just aren't working well. Hi, Joe from Arizona. Bet it's hot there today. Bet it's hot there most of the time. So I'm going to do some illuminated letters today, and it's going to be a short stream, and I'll say that later on, because um, Robert and I got to go to town and take care of a few things. So, yeah, I'm going to try and do this quick and get out of here early, eat dinner out, which would be nice. We don't do that often. So... That's my plan. Hey, Dee Dee. If you guys were at Dee Dee's and played Pictionary with us, did you enjoy it? Was it fun? I had fun. Hi, Barbara. Did I say hi, Terry? I hope I did. Anyway, yeah. It was fun. I was glad you were in the drawing seat, Dee Dee. And some of them crack me up because your approach and my approach are, would be so different. And I kind of thought it would be, um, it was kind of fun. So Teresa only thought it was kind of fun. I thought it was way fun. Illuminated letters. Yeah, that was one of the challenges in the hunt. Hi, Kathleen. But yeah, it was fun to see Dee Dee's take versus my take on some of the prompts, how I would have done them versus her. Her detail, her drawings were a lot more detailed, I have to say. Like she went all in. Hi, Kathy Arbor. Oh, it would have been fun if you weren't so busy. Well, get on busy. Dang it. Mondays, Mondays are for nothing but fun. The rest of the week you can deal with real life. Well, I'm going to deal with real life today, but. That's just part of the deal. Hey, Lori loves Montana. Hi, Starla. Okay, we got people coming in. Anyway, um, I've got I got three zines in since last week, so I can show those. Um, you've seen Dee Dee's already, but I'll show it again. Um, there was somebody at Dee Dee's. Um, Amy, I think was her name, who had some questions about the zine swap. She had never done zines, so I might have to show again how to fold and do a zine. They're really simple and they're really fun. Go get something to eat right now, Kathy Arbor. That's what I'm going to do as soon as I'm done streaming early. So anyway, I'll show the zines. I'll do these first because a lot of people have already seen them. Oh, man, I got too much junk sitting around here because it's all half done. So let's do Dee's first. <clears throat> so I don't know. I think this makes a total of five that I've gotten now. Yeah, I think five. So 
So if you're not aware, I am doing a zine swap. The theme is Mother Goose. Um, submit five, get, or submit six, I'm sorry. Submit six, get five back because I keep one of everybody's. But since I did a second zine, um, I think a lot of them, most of you are going to get six back anyway. Um, and then, I don't know, a couple of people I think have put a couple extras in. So there's more to swap. So my guess is don't expect more than five, but you might get six back. With a self-addressed stamped envelope to me by September 15th. If you need my address, you can get it on, you know, message me on Instagram or email me at this address and don't forget the period after the M. I will send you my address. I'll swap them out and return them to you. If you're international, I will pay the postage because you can. So, um, and those of you who have sent extra stamps to help me with the postage, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Not necessary, but I do appreciate it. So, um, you want to see me? At, what the heck? Um, you want to see me in those red pants? Well, I don't. This one actually isn't me because it might look like the same dress, but it's not. Hi, Ann. Um, this is Dee Dee's Little Miss Muffet with her Barbie. And she sent me some of the other um, Barbie pictures, too. So that was fun. Thank you, Dee Dee. Now. One thing I will um, point out to you is on your home copier, you're not going to get edge to edge coverage like this. But Dee Dee apparently took hers somewhere, had them printed on larger sheets and then trimmed down. So you don't have to go to that extent. Honestly, you don't. But, you know, Dee Dee. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet. And look at this. Her all fancy china and stuff, eating her curds and whey. These pictures are kind of amazing because she's got a little stool here with her little stuff on it and a little cat. This is probably taken in her front garden. Along came a spider, which she had to buy, and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. She lost her hat. That's really cute. Really, really cute. You can do any take you want. It was in your front garden. I figured it was because I don't know why I knew about the mulch and stuff like that. So Dee Dee's are already in. If you're lucky, you'll get one. She sent a couple extras. So, yeah. So Dee Dee's are done. I got some from Sharon Lombard. It's been a while since I looked at these, so sometimes I don't even remember them. Oh, this one is so cute. Let me see how it's going to show up on the camera. On this one, you can see, but I don't think it's even a problem where the edge is not edge to edge. Who cares? Hi, Marsh. Mary had a little lamb. Look at that little lamb that she drew. Little flowers. These are not fancy, you guys. You, you get to do it yourself. She dyed it her favorite color, which I'm guessing is purple. She has little writ dyes down here. Mary took her little lamb everywhere she went. Look at how cute these little drawings are. She took it to the beach. Built sand castles. She took it when she went hiking. She took took it to Papa's Pizza. I know. These are so cute. Look at. She's eating pizza. The little lamb is eating salad. She even took it to bed. The End by Sharon Lombard. But the thing is, the little artwork is so cute, you know? It's just so perfect. So thanks, Sharon. I'm glad you participated. Mary had a little lamb. 
make sure I get this back in the right envelope. And then I just got today, right before I went on, Pamela Acock, made by Pam. This one's really cute, too. I love them all. Mother Goose and the Demise of Humpty Dumpty. Poor Humpty Dumpty has had quite a ride in this zine swap. He took shrooms in mine. Now wait till this one. Hi, CB. The Demise of Humpty Dumpty. Hickety pickety, my black hen. She laid Humpty Dumpty, then he ran away. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. He had a great fall. The king's men couldn't put him together again. Along came a spider and sat down beside Humpty Dumpty. He spun his web and put him back together again. He's alive. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty woke up and said, thank you. Who are you? I am Goliath. Remember Miss Muffet? I sat down beside her and she ran away. Then Goliath called over his pet snake, Snap. Who, who are you, exclaimed Humpty Dumpty. I'm what little boys are made of, Snaps, snails and, pe snails and puppy dog tails, Goliath exclaimed. Snap is hungry. I kept you alive to, f to feed to Snap. He prefers living prey. After Snap ate Humpty Dumpty, Goliath felt hungry and ate Snap. Yum. Tasted just as good as Hickety Pickety. Delish. The end. We are people with warped brains. You think, CB? Yeah, like, poor Humpty Dumpty has had just endless issues. Oh, my God, great ending. Well, I think the thing here is that, that I appreciated about it is that she's included several of the other Mother Goose characters, much like I did, um, do the pictures. And if it's a little warped, yeah, who cares? So those are the kind of zines you're going to get in return. But I think it's, it's indicative of, yeah, how warped we all are. Let me get this back in the thing correctly. I love people's takes. Did did you show yours? I have not. Do you want me to, Dee Dee? Do you guys want to see mine? I showed the one that I did with the stickers. I don't, I haven't made copies yet, Dee Dee. I haven't decided if I'm going to take them in and get them made or, um, or not. Okay. Of course, you guys want to see it. Okay. Well, this is the prototype. It's not the, the actual one, but not that it's going to be a whole lot different. All right. We'll test you guys and see how Mother Goose, you're going out today, do it. Well, I was actually thinking about um, taking it up to um, Office Depot in Joplin next time we go. I know we're going the 15th, and we might go before then. Anyway, okay, Dee Dee, I'll show it. Okay, this is mine, and this is just the prototype, but it's, it's going to be very close to this, okay? This is the Mother Goose quiz. Do you ever wonder if your childhood was complete? This little quiz will answer whether you have the necessary knowledge to compete. Give it a go. Okay, you guys have to answer, all right? Where did Mary's lamb go? I'll let you guys. Oh. There's another part of it. Well, that's one answer, Terry. 
everywhere that Mary went. That's not the answer I wrote down. So maybe I should change this. I won't answer because I told you most of them. That's true. Hi, Dorothy. To the fair. Yeah, Mary's little lamb went. I just put up the hill. Mary had a little lamb. Oh, you know what? That one I might have wrong. I might have to change that. Anyway, okay. Um, who went to bed with his socks on? I might have to change that one, you guys. I'll write in pencil. Jack and Jill went up the hill. I'm glad I did this. Jack and Jill went up the hill. You're right, CB. So who went to bed with his socks on to get to the other side? There you go. That's what chickens do. Yep, Barbara got it. Deedle deedle dumpling, my son John. Where was the pie man going? We're going to see. If you guys can't answer these, how do you expect to go out in the world and compete? That's what I want to know. How in the hell can you compete in this world? The pie man was going everywhere, Kathy. Hi, Kathy, by the way. The fair. He was going to the fair. Who stole the Queen of Hearts tarts? You guys are getting them right. God, you're good at Pictionary. You're good at Mother Goose quizzes. Dee Dee, we hang out with a bunch of really smart people. Simple Simon, nope. Barbara got it, the Knave of Hearts. How many fiddlers did old King Cole call? Terry got it. Sherry got it. Barbara got it. Three. Who whipped her children before bed? <laughs> Don't answer me. Not all of us. Yeah, who whipped her children? Now, one thing I did notice as I read different versions of these same um, nursery rhymes, they changed this one. Barbara got it. The old woman in the shoe, old mother Hubbard went to her cupboard. Yeah. Old woman in the shoe. Yep. Um, but in more recent ones, they've changed it. They've made it so politically correct that it's like, um, she hugged them all and sent them to bed. I like the version of she beat them. Name the three men in the tub. Some of you, so you will get this. You need to read more of them, CB. Are you even participating, CB? I hope to God you do. And I hope you draw girls in them. The baker, the butcher, the candlestick maker. There you go, Anne. Um, who ate curds and whey? That one's just, I just read you that one. So we're just going to pass it. Who sang for his supper? I did all this before I knew who was doing what. So, little Miss Muppet. Who sang for his supper? Little Tommy Tucker. There you go, Terry Brett. What strike of the clock made the mouse run? You passed the only one. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. <laughs> you have to get out and read more Mother Goose then. God, Terry, you are on this. Knowing Terry Brett, okay, because Terry Brett is just me across the pond or something. She probably has read every one of these recently. Hey, Julie. What pervert? Okay, now this is my artistic license. 
What pervert kissed the girls and made them cry? I'm pretty sure that the actual nursery rhyme doesn't call him a pervert. But there was a pervert that kissed the girls and made them cry. Georgie Porgy, look, Barbara got it. Um, who could not eat lean? You guys are on top of this stuff. I love all of this. I'm going to use it for a nursery rhyme in my country. <laughs> Hi, Astrid. No, who could not eat lean? Jack Spratt's wife. I kind of threw you a curveball there. Did you get that? What did the cow jump over? That one's easy. Sometimes I threw in a real easy one so some of you wouldn't feel so damn dumb. <laughs> cow jumped over the moon. What did Jack use to remove the plum? That's why she was fat. No lie. Now, why did YouTube make me monitor that? You can't say fat in chat? That's ridiculous. Oh, I know this. <laughs> Kelly, you're, I'm sure you know most of them. His thumb. Which P, okay, here's a good one. You're going to have to say the whole thing in your head to get this one. Which pig ate roast beef? Fat, fat. See, I had, and they made me monitor that. But I, I had to approve that to show. That's how, yeah, see, Dee Dee, it's ridiculous. There you go, Starla. No, the fourth one, um, it was the, I think the fourth one had none. And then the little one went wee, wee, wee all the way home. Um, who tried to put Humpty Dumpty back together again? I've given you tons of hints on that one. You've got to know that. Hi, Jilly. Glad you popped in to say hi. Yeah, this little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This one had roast beef. This one had none. Yeah. Yep, the king's men. Why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? This is another one to make some of you feel smarter than you really probably are. Oh, I missed one of them. Oh, well, there'll be a secret one in there that I didn't read. Yep, to fetch a pail of water. Who put his wife in a pumpkin shell? <clears throat> you can't write it here in chat. I don't know. I'm pretty agreeable. I let whoever say anything. No, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers cv but it was peter so maybe peter peter pumpkin eater there you go um whose poor dog didn't get a bone <laughs> the woman in the shoe um who had pretty maids all in a row You guys are pretty darn smart. If you shame people who are overweight, companies like Hostess will go out of business. True that, Marsh. Peter is acceptable, but fat isn't. There you go, Julie. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Who had three bags of wool? I'm stumping you guys. You better get your Mother Hubbard dictionary out.
Baba Black Sheep. Um, who is the wolf for? It's amazing that I, I always assume that we're all much the same age, some a little bit younger. But most of you are doing this right out of your memory, right? That we've retained these things all these years. But I'll bet you five of you couldn't answer what you had for dinner last night. For real. Um, yep, the little boy who lived down the lane. Um, one mother, one maid, one for the little boy. The answer I have... The master, the dame, and the little boy down the lane. It's from Baba Black Sheep. All right. What climbed the water sprout? Water spout. Sorry. Jilly got it spot on. Spider, Starla got it. Who cut the tails off the blind mice? <laughs> what pervert cut the tails off the blind mice? The old farmer's wife. And then the back. Who lost her sheep? Robert Vaughn. <laughs> Little Bo Beep. How many blackbirds were baked in a pie? Terry Brett got it. Four and twenty. Yep. Um, and what did the twinkling star look like? These nursery run people seem a little bitter. I, I think they're all a little demented. But when you figure out how long these things have been around, I mean, we have definitely refined our bad selves so at least a little bit. A diamond in the sky. So that's mine. And then it will come with, let's see, I'll show you, I'll show it when it's already cut out. So there's the zine and there's the mother zine quiz answers. And then it will come in a little envelope. So that's my zine. And I had a ton of fun doing it. The pictures are just pictures. They're not specific to anything. They're very Ma Mary Engelbright-ish, if you noticed. I'm sure many of you did. So, yeah, I've got a... Um, I can make the copies at home because of the way I laid it out. I'm okay with that. But I kind of would like to take it somewhere and um, get it copied. But we'll see if I end up doing that or not. Who knows? If I remember it, that's the problem. Will I remember it on the one day that we go to Joplin? That's the thing. All right. So, thanks, you guys. However, they would be boring if they weren't. That's true, Kelly. Yeah. Make kids think a little bit. So I love illumination and um, Kathy Arbor has actually done some of these. Now, I don't have my book here, so I won't show them. But um, yeah, I've painted along with Kathy Arbor on some of these um, illuminated letters. I like them. They can be as simple or as complicated as you want. Um, I've had this book by Patricia Carter for years and years, and I'll probably do out of it because it lends itself really nicely to watercolor. They're simple. I can get a couple done. Um, if you want the letters perfectly, I would say use a stencil. I'm just going to hand draw them. Um, 
Oh, Anne, that makes me happy. Anne says she's having so much fun making her zine. That's the thing about it. Make it fun. If it's not fun, if you feel like it's a chore or anything like that, don't even bother. I'd rather you guys have fun doing it. So I'm probably going to work out of this book a little bit um, and do these ones with the flowers because I really like them. I like the ones on parchment too, though. I think those are really fun. And since this is a short stream and I've already gobbled up 30 minutes of it, yeah. And then this book, I haven't had that long. Um, it is set up as a sketchbook for you to work out of. Um, I won't do that, probably. But these are also very simple. So either one of them, I think, is going to be fine. I, the thing I really like about this, because I like illuminated lettering, that's the only reason. But it gives you graph paper. So it doesn't matter how bad you really draw. If you work on the graph paper, you're going to get your spacing exactly right. So... Um, Tim wrote an open letter to Mother Goose. Oh, Linda, I can hardly wait. So this is kind of a fun little book. If you like doing this, don't remember what I paid for it, but um, I think this book helps so that anybody can have success doing this. And if you're interested, great. If you're not, eh, don't worry about it. Another thing is I ordered, I'm always looking for black pens, permanent black pens. And the other day, damn Amazon, I wish those people would leave me alone. Um, they sent me a recommendation because that's what they do. They feed your addictions. It's a good thing I don't search for heroin on my computer pretty soon they'd be sending me ads for heroin but they sent me a recommendation for these black color quick drawing waterproof smear proof markers so what did i do i went and um bought 40 of them Dee, Dee there'll be some of them in your box that i'm getting ready to send you they're not horrible but they're not great either. Um, they're not like Claire Didi. They, let me see, I've got the beast somewhere here. I was really hoping they were, they were pretty affordable. Like you got 40 for 20 bucks. So it's, you know, what, 50 cents a pen or something. And <clears throat> what I wanted them for was to do the um, checkerboard on the zine. Look at, I've been doing cartoons a lot. Um, where is it? Okay, this is where I um, tested it in the beast, and you can see that it bled really bad. So the flares don't bleed unless I really go over it a few times. They don't bleed, and this one, for the checkerboard, it's going to be fine because when it bleeds through, that's the bleed through, which I'm going to cover on this side anyway. Um, but my biggest problem with them is they're not really black. So I don't know if I do them on, um, say, cardstock. Yeah, if they're going to show up as black. They're kind of a dark gray, and I like solid black. I was, hang on, I'm looking in my, I'm going to try really quick on this um, watercolor paper. Yeah, I've been drawing the uh, monsters and the aliens out of those books that I bought. Yeah. Thanks, Kelly. I like them too. They're just fun and they're zero pressure and they make my beast happy. So let me just check here real quick. I haven't tried these pens on um, watercolor paper to see if they bleed. I know they're not going to um, bleed, but if they... Um, Feather, because I don't like when they feather either. So they're black enough, I guess. I'm just a whiner. I'm very picky about certain pens. So, but yeah, on here, it's black enough. So I can use it with watercolor and stuff like that just fine. I'm just a whiner. 
Janet says you're not great. Hmm. Is that why you're getting them? No, because I know Dee Dee and I know me and any one of us in chat, Marsh, you little troublemaker, you. Um, these are just throwaway. I mean, it's not like um, my favorite pens. Are we playing Pictionary, I guess, Butterfly? <laughs> um you want to see the monster books okay i'll show those real quick but anyway yeah no she'll just use them like i do but if you need a permanent black pen i'm always in search of a really good permanent inexpensive black pen that can i draw on the beast if i ruin the um nib i don't have to worry because there's i there's no investment so that's why i'm always looking Dee, Dee is much in the same boat i know because we all are and if Dee Dee doesn't want them, she can give them to Cam. She can throw them in the trash, whatever. But 40, I don't need 40. I just ordered them that way. Okay, so anyway, yeah, if you want to work on illuminated letters, I would say this illuminated sketchbook is a good choice. I like it very much. Um, if you don't mind working in your book, it gives you plenty of room to work. I don't work in the book. And anything I make today, I'm probably going to give away. Anyway, so. Show in the book, Kathy Arbor. I think Kathy Arbor has this book, too. I'm not sure which one of us got it first. But she enables me quite a bit, I have to say. So let's pick a letter. I went ahead and cut um, some watercolor paper. This weekend, I was playing with the Prima watercolor pencils and the Pago watercolors. Um, these are inexpensive, um, very affordable for everybody. This set is the 36 set. It comes in a really beautiful box. You get a lot. You were the guilty one? Okay. I'm glad you own it. Um not the best watercolors but certainly not the worst and you get a really really good selection of colors but i found out when i was working on those monsters in my beast is for whatever reason these watercolors don't work well on that beast paper nor do the watercolor pencils so i thought well i'm going to work with them on watercolor paper and see if i'm more satisfied maybe i'm just getting really picky and complainy in my old age. What do you guys think? And quickly before I start, let me just show the, the monster books. The way the whole monster cartoon, everything started was I got this silly book on um, at Hobby Lobby for practically free, $3.75. And I bought it thinking I was going to give it to my grand, one of my grandchildren or nieces or nephews or something, you know, or let them play with it when they're here, whatever. Um, I've ended up keeping it and playing with it myself. And I have to say, I'm in love with the book so much that I started a monster journal. And then Ange, who is also a miserable enabler, showed me um, another book that like by the same author, so his name is Steve Harpster. He has provided me many hours of entertainment. Um, I went ahead and paid full price for the Alpha Tunes book, which is more of the same where you start with a letter or a number and step by step he shows you how to draw the character. This is the one that I think it was Astrid said, the little old lady. She wrote me a message about it and I wrote her back and I wrote, I wrote in there that I am the goofy granny. This is a goofy granny. I am the goofy granny. And she said, oh, I was going to say that, but I didn't, I don't want to offend you. Like I'm offendable. Astrid, who's in chat today, actually thinks I'm offendable, which cracks me up. But this is much the same. It's just more cartoonish. You get people, you get Cats, dogs, horses, giraffes, whatever, pigs, cows. Um, my feeling about drawing is that every time you pick up a pen um, and attempt to do something, 
you're improving your skills. Your brain is learning something. So I don't care if you're drawing cartoons. I don't care if you're drawing like Dee Dee did this morning. Um, Astrid is polite. Hashtag Astrid is polite. Um, but Dee Dee did those characters this morning and she's really good at it. And you can tell that um, Dee Dee's had a lot of practice. Dee Dee has done her time. And the thing about all of us is we can all get better, but we have to give it our time. Yeah, just look up um, Steve Harpster, H-A-R-P-S-T-E-R. -E He's got three others, some aliens and I don't know. There's some other books. Um, for the amount of enjoyment I've gotten out of them, they're well worth it to me. Oh, and then while I was digging in that pile... There's the cover that I did last week, and I haven't um, coated it yet, and I haven't inked the edges, but this is how it came out. I really like it. So that's what you watched me do last week, and I really, really, really like it. So now on to illuminated letters. I did cut these um, down to eight and a half. Well, yeah, eight and a half. By five and a half that will fold I scored it in the middle but I'm gonna work on it flat because I don't want to fight the fold okay so I'll only be working on this side of the paper so that whoever I give this to they can use it as a note card or put some paper inside and use it as a little journal cover whatever you want okay so Dee, Dee give me a letter that I should draw Hi, Jasper. You slept in late. You missed a great Dee Dee stream, Jasper. You'll have to go watch because Dee Dee played Pictionary with me. I fed her the words and she had to draw and it was fun. Hi, Jane. So if you haven't seen Dee Dee's stream from this morning, go watch because it's a ton of fun. Z. So the only person I know with a Z is Zandra, Dee Dee. But that's okay. Yeah, watch Dee Dee for sure. Okay, I'm going to draw you guys the lines so you can see which part. I'll erase it later. So I'm going to try and get this somewhat centered. Um, <clears throat> Z is, is a pretty easy letter. Do you want a letter from someone in chat? Yeah, let's do that, Dee Dee. I mean, I can do Z1 later. Don't worry, be happy. Yep, thank you, Barbara. Barbara never forgets. That's what I love about her. A for polite Astrid. Okay, A is also easy because it's just straight letters. We love a good straight letter. Okay, now I'm going to envision, I might put a border around the edge. So I'm going to leave room for that. About a quarter inch, three-eighths inch. Astrid, if you want to get this when I'm done, you will need to. Well, no, don't send me your address because if you're doing the, um, are you doing the zine swap? I'll just include it in that and let you pay the postage. How about that? So I want the... I don't want it that long. Now, if you want a perfect letter, what I would say is get a stencil. Check it out, Barbara. I'm not even using. I like that better. And I'll make it bolder on this side. Astrid is polite and gets to pay the postage. I live in Europe. Oh, my God. <laughs> so now I have to pay the postage, too. Oh, God, what a rotten plan. 
<laughs> you guys are plotting against me, aren't you? I know you are. You're plotting against me. Okay. So far, that spacing is fine. When you're drawing on watercolor paper, I would not recommend a lot of erasing. It does mess with the fibers a little bit. Um, so, yeah. All right. I like that A. I'll go ahead and since I'm going to use my new pen. Look at Barbara. Barbara has now fallen off her chair. Would somebody go over and help Barbara up off the floor? And I'll tell you whether or not this is black enough. It's a good test, though, for my new pens. The little things that hang off letters are called serifs. Don't worry, be happy. Oh, you can stop now, Barbara, because I'm going to um, use the um, ruler a lot. Hey, Aunt Beck. So give it to somebody in the USA. No way, Astrid. You're so polite that you have got to have it. So I'm going to straighten that for one thing. And see if I can't end the letter on this side at about the same place. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? I got about, hmm, I need to make it like that. Okay, on watercolor paper, which this is 140 pound, um, 140 pound paper, it is not um, going through to the back. If it had, I would probably just um, cover it with something else, another piece of art, some pattern paper or something, you know, so... If I can't afford it, you'll lend her the money. Okay, CB, we'll talk later about the loan, okay? I'll see what your interest rates are and see if I can afford them. And the reason I'm doing this letter in black is, one, I did want to try these pens. Um, but you could do this in any color. So, But I'm going to watercolor on top of it. So whatever you use, make sure it's waterproof or come back in later and do it because I'm going to saturate this. And if it doesn't work out like planned, Astrid, because you are so polite and you don't want to offend anybody, um, I would make you another one. Because after I go to town today, I won't have to leave home again for at least another week, which makes me happy. I might have to, um, the pen is feathering a little bit, so I'm not getting really good points. So I'll go back and, and fix that with another pen. But it's good enough for government work. Which if you're a government worker, um, I if I offend you, you'll have to get over it.
because that's how I roll. Darn good A for a free hand, wouldn't you say? Low interest. Your zine's almost done, Jasper. Yay, I can hardly wait to see it. You'll have to go back. I did show um, a couple this morning. Dee Dee's, you probably already seen on her channel, but there was a couple extras that people sent in. One of them, I have to say, just slightly demented, but that's good. That's how we roll around here. All right, I'm going to draw the actual flower with these Prima watercolor pencils because I have too much stuff that I don't use freehand. I Didn't I see a rule? Oh, CB. Here's my idea about straight lines and circles. If you have a template or a ruler, you're an idiot if you don't use it. Okay. You like that? Okay. I like that too. So if you use a watercolor pencil, I'm hoping when I go to add the watercolor on this, the drawing will disappear. Yeah, the Barbie Miss Tuffet. Yep, me too. Nice thing about drawing with watercolor pencils, if you have to correct something, whatever you correct is going to disappear in your art. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about um, goofing up. But I hardly ever goof up anyway, so. <clears throat> no details I'll put in. Can you guys see this okay? I probably should bring you down since I'm drawing kind of lightly. I don't. Um, I hope I like these colors too. Okay, that's pretty simple. 
Now let's see how this is going to dissolve. Probably ought to use my other paper, get my other paper out of here because I'll trash it out for sure. Okay, and these are the Pago watercolors. I said that earlier. They're inexpensive, but you get great color selection. I'll go ahead and spray this too. Hi, Randy Rabbit. Anybody else who's come in that I might have missed? I'm not going to use all the colors, but I'll at least get wet the ones that I will use. Hopefully, it'll make it go a little faster. The one thing about this Pego set that I really love, in a lot of um, watercolor sets, you don't get pinks. But this has really good pinks and really good purples. So I don't have room on the table for you to see the watercolors and what I'm working on. So um, they don't have a good dark red in here. So I will use the dark pink instead. Well, no, I'm going to start with the lighter pink. It's kind of a purplish pink that I'll mix with the pink on here. Detail I'll put in probably last. And what I'm watching for is just to see how these um, Prima watercolor pencils dissolve, how readily they dissolve. Because on the paper in the Beast, they were horrible. I'm just going to say it. They were horrible. Not horrible. Not horrible at all. They could dissolve a little bit more readily. The ones that I really like are the Statler. The Statler really, really dissolves good. Oops. Okay, the yellow, I'm going to add, um, oh, the name of the brush, this is the um, black velvet, silver black velvet. They are my favorite brush. This size six is actually my favorite because I commonly work small. Um, so, yeah, this is actually my favorite watercolor brush that I own. But I have the um, silver black velvet in several sizes. I just use this one most often.
I'm using actually very little watercolor. I'm trying to get most of my color from the um, pencils that I drew with. That's why I put it off here at this side so I can um, pick up a very, very small amount. I'm actually painting mostly with just the water, putting a little bit of um, pigment on. And I like to do all different kinds. Okay, now here's the test of those pens. Um, but I like to watercolor all kinds of different things. I can do um, like the monsters or um, I probably should get out some of my others because some of you are new and haven't seen some of the pretty decent art that I've done. Mostly I just like to play because I like to play with my product. Those are your favorite brushes too, Kelly. They're good brushes. I mean, I've had these for a long time and I haven't been doing watercolor all that long. So I don't know what the average lifespan of a brush would be. Um, but I have to say these, of course, I take good care of them. I mean, as soon as I'm done, I take them over, I wash them. I do take pretty darn good care of these. And one of the reasons is you pay a lot for them. It's not like these are free. You need to drag out the art. Okay. Here when I finish this or it needs to dry or something, I'll drag out some of the other art. Probably my favorite and the one I'm most proud of, frankly, is that Santa Claus I did. I think I just got everything about that absolutely right. And I, I try not to be critical because I still feel like I'm learning a lot. Um, but I think you need to give yourself credit when things do work out. I'll wait for that one because I'll do it a little darker. So Astrid, if you're doing the zine swap, you're not, you don't have to send me your address. If you're not doing the zine swap, um, you need to send me your address. And I will send this international, which should be a dirty word. Okay, I only got the black ink wet a little bit. Um that it, it's going to be fine. So that's good to know. And I will treat those pens like the trash that they are. I am interested. Arlene was saying in Dee Dee's chat this morning that she found a new pen called Mr. Pen. Um, that I'm going to have to look into. If somebody gives a really good recommendation on a good black pen, I'm on it. Because as of right now, for drawing, my favorite pens are still the um, Copic Multiliner.
Yep, right over it, just fine. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. I think at this point you can um, choose whether or not you're going to do a lot of the detail in watercolor or go ahead and um, use colored pencil. I, I'm not a purist, so I don't really care. Um, either one, just whatever you'd like. Faber Castell, I love all of Faber Castell's products. I have to say, they're big brush markers and stuff like that. I have a set of them. I love them. I don't use them much. I don't know why, but um, I have to say, Faber Castell makes great products. So I am a fan of those. But for a lot of things, like something like this or Playing in the Beast or something, I, I'm always looking for a good, inexpensive option. to just play with or something. I don't know why, but I always am. It's probably left over from my poor college days when I couldn't afford anything that I'm always still looking for that great cheap option. Believe me, I was the poorest person on earth when I was in school. Hey, Sharon Lombard. I showed your zines a few minutes ago. And I did get the second envelope, so thank you very much. Not necessary, but thank you. Let's get some green on here. Let's look at the greens we have available. I think I'm going to use the more olive shades down here. Greens. Green watercolors, in my opinion, are always a little tricky, but I think I'll go with that. It's going to be weird because the 
um, Prima that I used to draw the outline was a different color green. So I'm trusting that they're going to go away. I think if I go over them a couple times, they're disappearing well enough, I guess is what I'll say. And if they don't, I'll just go back in with colored pencil. I hate cheap, but love less. See, Jasper, that's how I am. But like even, and I've said this to you guys a hundred times, and I will always say it. Um, the Some of the Crayola products, honestly, are some of my absolute favorites. Like Dee Dee recommends the um, super tips all the time. Those are some of the most useful, inexpensive, and you could almost say cheap, but they're, in my opinion, they are great quality. Um, I love them. Um, I haven't done the experiment yet, but I'm going to do an experiment with the um, Crayola crayons. Like I showed you guys a few weeks ago, how you can dissolve the... Um, Prismacolor pencils or any wax pencils. It doesn't have to be Prismacolor. Any wax pencils. You can dissolve that binder with odorless mineral spirits. I'm guessing that you can do the exact same thing with the Crayola um, products. Just saying. Um, because you cannot beat. Well, you can beat if you buy the really expensive products, but just for a inexpensive product, you cannot beat the Crayola watercolors. If you do, if you don't want to get into expensive watercolors, try some Crayolas. Their pigment is great. They dissolve awesome. They re-wet beautifully. Like, you just almost can't beat the Crayola watercolors. Unless you go really, really high-end. We're dissolving pencils. Yeah, Amy. Hi, Amy, by the way. Um, I mentioned you earlier about the zines. Um, I did show some of the... Um, contributions that people have sent in earlier so um go see them so you kind of have an idea what the whole zine thing is all about but yeah you can dissolve the binder in colored pencils today i used watercolor pencils so their binder is obviously designed to dissolve without chemicals, just water. <clears throat> and I am covering where the Prima pencils did not dissolve.
Now I think I just need some little bit of details. Use Crayola's, but had to order them from overseas. Now you can get some. You had to order Crayola's. Well, I think all Crayola products are still made in the USA. Maybe that's why I promote them so much. I don't know. But they are good products. I wouldn't go that far um, with, say, the Rose Art and some of the others. But the Crayola, I definitely am a fan. Huge fan. <clears throat> all right, let me get... Hang on. I'm going to clean up that mess before I get my um, paper in it. I'm always asking for trouble that, that way. Might as well have some coffee while it's in my hand. I spent money on cheap. We all have only to find it would have been bit less expensive. Now that is the truth, Jasper. And I think another thing that I would recommend to a lot of people is if you tried something, let's just use watercolor for an example, and, and you think you're enjoying the process, save up and buy the best you can afford. I mean, I think in the long run, it, it definitely helps. That means getting good paper, of all the things about watercolor that are important is the paper. The paper will change so much of your product, as will brushes. Um, but just from having used the cheap and the expensive, they, they just work better. They're just fun. They just work better. All right, I'm going to set that aside and let it dry real quick. I may only get one of these done since I want to stop early, but I will. I'll show some of my old, I think the watercolors are in here. Got to move some junk off this table or at least move it back. But of all the things I would recommend if you're going to get into watercolor is buy high-end paper paper makes all the difference. Now just for playing, I don't mind playing in the beast on that garbage paper. I haven't looked in here in forever, so who knows what we're going to find. But since I don't keep porn in here, I don't have to worry about opening it up to you guys. I think these were some experiments we did. I didn't write it on the back. I have to say it smells good in here. I don't know what I have in here that would smell so dang good. Hmm. Those, I guess, are just experiments. And then I have a few pages of swatches. This, I think, was a paint-along. This is early on. This is um, November of 2018. So I was just barely getting into watercolor. This was a paint-along with Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. You, yeah, I hide that under the bed, CP. So I don't know. I usually try and write on the back if this is a paint along. Okay, this is one that I did on stream from November 18. So this was like early on when I was just learning things. Like I think this one I was learning about lifting up color after you put it down. Um this was in a book. I think these were all in a book. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, these were out of that um, Fast and Furious. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But this has actual dryer lint on it. Those trees are actually dryer lint, and they're... It's textured. I'm pretty sure that's dryer lint or gauze. I don't remember. Dryer lint. Yeah. Let's see. We cherish to the poppy red that grows on fields where valor led. It seems to signal to the skies. The blood of heroes never dies. I like that. 
I like that a lot. Yeah, these were just some experiments. This is, there are no strangers, only friends we haven't met yet. Um, what was that stuff? I need to write stuff down because I don't remember stuff. I didn't write it down. Leave it to me. Oh, glass beads. Yeah, this was a watercolor with that we put glass beads on, and it's also really, really textured. There's Crayola in the background that was acting as a resist. This was out of a book. There's some pieces of paper glued down. So there's all, this is all different kinds of stuff. This was a salt experiment. I do remember that. Hmm. These, those were from 2018. So, and then these were kind of when I was teaching myself um, how to paint glass. These are inspired out of some book. I don't know which book, but glass and marbles, whether it's drawing them, painting them, whatever, intrigues the heck out of me. For real. So these were really fun. I should go back and do marbles again. Here's another glass project. I like, I didn't get the perspective on that just right, but I don't care because I learned a lot while doing this. Yeah, the salt effects. Um, Jasper, if you're trying to use, yeah, Jean's marbles. Um, if you're trying to use salt and you're not getting good results, it's probably not the paint as much as it is the paper. For salt to work really well, you want a very absorbent paper that will hold the water because what the salt does, and use larger granule salt. A salt that I found that works really well and is really cheap is salt that you put in ice cream makers. That works really good. But I think um, for the salt effect to have a good effect, use a really absorbent paper and really saturate it and then just let it set, a, set it aside and just let it dry. And that the bigger granule salt will just suck up the pigment and the, the water. I did this one, this painting several times and gave, um, gave it away as well. Let me see if I wrote on the back whose book it is. No, why would I do that? But that is on Arches paper. So you're going to get good results because on the back, it, you can see in here, um, I did some pickup, do a stencil. There's some gauze. There's some salt. So it had several different effects, um, but it worked really, really well. Here's a giraffe. This was a paint along. I don't know if I painted along with Colleen or who I did, but that was a paint along and that stencils in the background. I don't know what the heck I was doing there. This was the same painting several times again with salt and gauze. Um, probably once on really cheap paper and then another time on better paper just so my brain could get what the different effects on the different products were. This one I did on stream. Um, what do you call that? Um, somebody in chat will know. It starts with a B. Bochi book. I don't know. This was a paint along with Kathy Arbor. I do remember that. That was fun. Oh, what do you call that? There's a technique. Kathy will remember it. Boca. There you go. Boca. So that was fun. And this is probably one of my favorites. I don't know where the... Hmm. That must be the original. Yep. So this one, I did part of it on stream. I don't know if I did the whole thing on stream, but this was really fun. Another thing about your watercoloring is like this one, it's not so much the watercolor technique. I mean, it is to some extent, but I think on this one, I really took 
time to get a good drawing to start with. Um, a good drawing to start with is going to make all the difference. These both of them were paint along with Kathy Arbor. If you want to learn something, don't come here. Go to Kathy Arbor's channel. So though, both of those were paint along with Kathy Arbor. This one I just drew. Um, I bought that whole set of postcards. Let me see and move it over. Trying to replicate. Um, I like how it turned out. I think I did fairly good on that. And apparently I think I write things down and I really don't. I intend to though. So there's the original postcard. And there's how it came out. And I know there's other art. I have art spread out all over. That's from my friend Lena. Woohoo. So there's just some. Sometimes I am a purist. Most of the time I am not. I, I, I just think when something is easier to do with another product or another method, just do it. You don't have to go through life being stupid. Like, don't try and draw a perfect circle. Get a template out. To me, it's stupid not to. Right? Right. All right, let's get this done. <clears throat> now I have to decide. Do I want to do detail? I think I'll do detail with this um, hybrid Technica pen and do it in black. Thanks, you guys. I'm really not a purist at all. I do what's easy and what's effective. That's the main thing is what's effective. In fact, I'm going to jack with you guys right now because I want some yellow on here and I didn't put it in with watercolor. What did I do with those? Oh, I move stuff. I hate when I move stuff. Here we go. Here we go. I'm actually going to put some yellow on the flowers with um, acrylic. So there'll be like three or four dots of acrylic paint on here. Shoot me. Thanks, Kelly. Yes, Jasper, to know how to keep the white paper is still valuable. I, I couldn't agree more. But the thing is, I'm not ever going to sell. Um, my art. I'm just not. So it's more as a hobby to keep me busy and keep from peeping into the neighbor's windows um, because that's what I might do otherwise. No, I wouldn't because I won't leave my house. These were cheap ass paint pens and who knows if it's going to work. I don't think I got the lid on this one tight. Dang it. All right, let me get another one out. I know I have a better Posca one. And I have tried masking fluid, you know, to keep the paper white and stuff like that. Um, I just don't like that. That drives me a little crazy. Hopefully this one will work. Yeah, the little ball's moving in this one, so it'll work. Come on. Now, this is the thing. If I have a product that I have to fight with to get it to work, that bad boy is going in the garbage faster than you can even imagine. All right. I'm getting, it's getting on my very last nerve, you guys. Very last. Okay, this one's brand new. If this one doesn't work, Try, oh, but I can tell if it's moving or not. Yeah, I'm trying yellow on yellow. I just picked this up because it's, um, I don't know how it got so trashed out, but it's something I got to remember to do. Maybe try white paper. Kathy, come on, man. 
If I had a piece of white paper here, I would use it. What's this? Oh, okay. That's old. Come on, Pen. Jilly's laughing. Don't waste your money on crap products that don't work. This one's brand new. It's got to work. It's never been juiced up. Now, these Ranger ones, I've had problem with those a lot. And the inexpensive ones, the ones from China, they really suck. All right, come on. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to blow it off. And I'll come up with plan B. I'll put it in with... Oh, there we go. Look it. Okay, see, I would have known if it wrote on the yellow. Y'all just think I'm dumb as I look. I'm really not. Yeah, you like that? You like that? Now, see, that was so much easier. If the pen had worked the first time, that would have been so much easier than trying to paint around that. Right? Yes, sir, Bob. Wash the nib in plain water. It will work again. Thank you, Abigail. I'm just now thinking... Do I want to do this in black or do I want to do it in color? Now that I'm done painting, um, I don't mind erasing. But on, on better quality paper, it's not that big a deal. But this is not the best quality in the world. Not the worst, though, either. Crisping up those points a little bit. Yeah, baby, what do I want to do? Let's use some lay pen. What do you think? We're going to use the pens. I need this. I need a green. All right. Sweet. This is what we're going to do. If I don't like it, I'll... If you have like a lay pen or something like that too, these are not permanent. So I think, let's just try it real quick. I'll try a little water brush that has water in it maybe. Yeah, see, so you can go ahead and use the lay pen and then go back over it and treat it like watercolor and get it to spread a little bit. So that's kind of cool. Because then you can get some nice, thin, crisp lines. I am going to do the outsides in black, though. Real sketchy. Real sketchy-like.
mess in there. Fix it real quick. And I got to let that dry before I can do anything. Hey, Tambit. All right, a little bit of black. And this I'm just going to do real sketchy. Now you can just diddle with it as long as you want. You can get as much detail, as little as you really want here.
Okay. And the back is pretty clean. So good on me. Um, one thing, though, is that yellow is not standing out maybe as much as I might want. I don't think I have any orange. Let me see. Yeah, that's a little better. What's today? Eight twenty two. Don't know if I want um, a border around it or not. I think I will not put a border around it. If whoever receives it wants a border, put a border around it. Otherwise, who cares, right? Who cares? I don't think I've forgotten anything. Um, all right. Do I quit dinking around now or not? That's good. See, if it was mine, I'd want to go ahead and um, put a border around it. Another thing I could do at this point is if I wanted to add some gold to the A. But I think the A stands out just enough. Just enough. What have I done to this freaking camera? I'm going to erase the... Um, Get my eraser clean before I put it on the paper. I'm going to have to go into Walmart this afternoon, you guys, and I absolutely hate going into Walmart. Um, has anybody gone and looked at school supplies? Was there anything awesome that I probably should know about? Otherwise, I won't waste the steps to go over there. Because I just got to go in and get some medication. A prescription, you know. So who's been to Walmart to see the great school supplies? Is there anything I need or can I live without it? Okay, I did score this. So you can use it for a card or you can... Make a little journal out of it. Same school supply. Thank you, Pam. Thanks so much, you guys. Not me. Same school supply stuff here. Okay. Did they have any half comp books, Dee Dee? That's the one thing I would go get is I did enjoy the half comp books. I would, would buy some of those. Um... Otherwise, I probably don't need anything. When they used to have extreme... Um, Elmer's Extreme Glue Sticks, I'd go for those, but I don't even know if Elmer's makes them anymore. I haven't been able to find them. Do you want me to ink the edges, Astrid? Okay, not here. Okay, if they, if they don't have them there, Dee Dee, they don't have them anywhere. I am going to darken up that A in a couple places. 
this is kind of dangerous to add something after you think you're done. Because if you're going to goof up, that's when you're going to goof up. I kind of want to ink the edges. See, I, that's why I want either a border or inked edges or something. It's lovely as it is. Astrid, this is the way it's coming to you. I will clean up that inside for you a little bit. Just junk from the table. If you are like me and you have junk on your table and you're worried about it, um, put tape it onto something before you um, start working on it. I'm happy with it for a quick little project. It was good. I like it. Oh, my God, you're the best. No, Astrid, I'm not. I'm the grumpy granny, remember? Put a single line border of ink around it. See, that's kind of what I'm thinking too, CB. But that means getting out the, do you guys want me to do that? Because I have to get a ruler out in order to do that. And I won't use, well, let's see. Yeah, it might be. You're welcome. Um, Ruler for sure. Yeah, you have to do a ruler. And this is 10th scale, so yeah, I need inch scale. Ask Astrid. Okay, you get to decide, Astrid. Do you want a single ink rule around it? Or I could do gold too. But since my time's almost up here... I love it as it is. Okay, it's staying exactly like it is. It's going to, I think you said you're going to participate in the zine swap. So I will hold it for that or until I get your address. You tell me. Oops. I guess uh, this new computer is going to make me crazy. If you touch anything on it, something happens and you don't know what happened. Very sensitive, very sensitive. Got to go wash that now. I like it. I wish I'd gotten another one done, but I'm slow as hell and you guys know it. Can I give my address? Astrid, are you on IG? You can either, either um, message me on IG or send it to me at this email address and if you're doing the zine swap and you need my address go ahead and use that um, email address okay yeah don't put it in chat because who knows you can send it to that email address right there Or if Dee, Dee has it, you can tell Dee, Dee that it would be okay to give it to me because we don't share people's addresses, phone numbers, anything. Now, CB, I will I'll write that on bathroom walls. I'll put it on paper and drop it over at the mall. Yeah. CB's information? Yeah. I'll just dox her like crazy. Not really. Okay, Astrid, that's very cool. And if you send it, I'll try and get it out in the next day. If I can just slap some postages on it. And, um, oh, see, I like that. All right, you guys, I'm going with the rat into town. This is, takes all the fortitude I have to go in and deal with those people. But I'm going to do it because it's for Robert Vaughn. But, yeah, so pray for me because I'm going into a war zone. So thanks, you guys. Um, I appreciate you spending a little bit of time with me today. And, um, yeah, love you guys. Be kind. I have to tell myself that every day. Be kind. Be kind. 
All right, you guys. Love you. See you. Bye. Adios, Samagos.